the magic broom. Filipipa's work becomes easy when she gets a new broom. Filipipa was the kitchen maid in King Caraway's palace. She washed the royal dishes, peeled the royal potatoes, and swept the red tiled floor of the royal kitchen. She did many other things besides these, but it would take far too long to write them all down here. One morning, the cook sent her to the market to buy a new broom. That old one is a perfect disgrace to the royal household. You must have a new one at once, she said crossly. Yes, ma'am, replied Philippipa. I'll go at once. She always said ma'am when speaking to the cook, as it helped to keep her in a good temper. Philippipa was very tactful. It didn't take her very long to get to the marketplace. She tried several stalls, but couldn't buy a broom anywhere. They had all sold out. Philippipa stood in the middle of the market square and debated what to do. She dare not go back to the royal palace without a broom. It was very awkward indeed. Just at that moment, along came a peddler, and under his arm was the most beautiful broom Philippipa had ever set eyes upon. Oh, what a lovely broom! she exclaimed. Please, is it for sale? Yes, said the peddler. He didn't tell her that he had picked it up from the road that very morning. Philippipa bought the broom and hurried back to the royal palace as fast as she could go. My word! What a time you've been! said the cook. Indeed, ma'am, I... That is quite enough from you, miss. Thank you. And don't stand there staring either. Anybody would think we had nothing to do. Come and sweep up the kitchen at once. I've been making the stuffing for the royal goose. And there are crumbs all over the floor. The cook snatched up an oven cloth and banged the saucepan down on the fire with such force that the coals scattered in all directions. My! What a temper she's got, thought Philippipa. She picked up her new broom and began sweeping the floor. Over the red tiles flew the broom, swish, swish. She had no sooner begun than she had finished. Philippipa stared in amazement. What a wonderful broom it was, so light. She had never swept the kitchen floor as quickly as that before. It must have magical powers. Well, if that isn't luck, thought Philippippa. We're going to be great friends, I can see, she said, patting the broom handle affectionately. Next day, quite early, a little old woman came knocking at the kitchen door. Philippippa was sweeping round the royal larder. She unfastened the door. Good morning to you, miss, said the little old woman. May I ask what you are doing with my broom? Your broom? cried the astonished Philippipa. Why, I bought it myself in the market yesterday. So you may have, replied the old woman angrily. But I tell you, it's my broom, just the same. Well, and what about me? The broom asked suddenly in a little high squeaky voice. Philippipa was so surprised that she let go of the broom handle with a jerk. It didn't fall over, but stood up all by itself in the middle of the floor. Come home at once, cackled the witch. How dare you run away like that? You ran away yourself, piped the broom. You horrid old woman, I'm quite happy where I am. Thank you. Oh, are you? 
cried the witch. We'll soon see who is the master here. Oh, shall we indeed? Retorted the broom and it shook all over with rage. Go away at once! It squeaked. Or I'll sweep you out. I don't think you should do that, said Philippippa, beginning to feel quite alarmed. However, no sooner had she spoken than the broom began sweeping as hard as it could go. Out of the royal kitchen it swept the old woman and across the courtyard so that she had to pick up her long dress and run. Swish, swish, swish. Over the bridge ran the witch with the broom close at her heels. And then, all of a sudden, the broom was back again in Philippipa's hand, as if nothing at all had happened. And as for the little old woman, she was nowhere to be seen. Well, if that isn't the strangest thing, thought Philippipa, but she never breathed a word about it to anybody. Subscribe now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.